Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. Last week I did a video on the brand new Linux Mint Debian LMDE6. Hey. And I showed how to install it and how I would like to configure it. Well, today I'm going to take a second look at it and I'm going to show you a few things about it. So, let's get to it. So, like I said, I'm in a virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian, the brand new one that just came out about a week ago, LMDE6 Bay. And I already did a video showing how to install it and how it like to configure it. And there's a few things I'd like to show you. So I've been using Linux for almost four years and December will be four years. And my first Linux distribution was Linux Mint. Since I've been using Linux, Linux Mint has always shipped with Rhythmbox, which is a music player. And I use Rhythmbox. I also have it installed in my Arch Linux system. And if you used my Arch Linux auto app install script, you'll have uh, Rhythmbox installed in your Linux, in your Arch Linux system as well. But this is not about Arch Linux, it's about Linux Mint. So like I said, Linux Mint, as long as I've been using Linux, has always shipped with Rhythmbox. And I noticed that Rhythmbox doesn't work in here, in this new Linux Mint Debian. So for instance, if you installed Linux Mint Debian 6, now it was working in Linux Mint Debian 5, but if you installed it in Linux Mint Debian 6, you might have this experience. Click on the Start menu. Go to Sound and Video. Here it is here, Rhythm Box. You click it on. And what happens? It kicks you out to the login screen. So I'm going to type my password back in. Let's go back in. And there, now we're back in. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, you can log into applications from the terminal if you know the correct word that gets you in there. So for instance, I'm going to open up a terminal, make it full screen. Let's type in Firefox and see if it gets us into it. Firefox. And there we are. We're in Firefox. So I only showed you that just to show you that you can get it into an application from the terminal. So when I noticed this was happening, I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong in the menu configuration that doesn't allow one to log into Rhythmbox, right? So now I'm gonna try it from the terminal. So let's type in Rhythmbox. Let's hit enter. And that kicks us out to the login screen as well. So let's put my password back in and go back in. So obviously there's something wrong with Rhythmbox and Linux Mint Debian 6. I don't know what it is, but it's not in the menu. Because if there was a problem with the programming in the menu, you should be able to get into it from the terminal. Rhythmbox is working and opening up in Linux Mint Debian 5, but it's not working in Linux Mint Debian 6. I tried it in uh, Linux Mint Ubuntu, the brand new one that came out in July, and it's working. And I tried it in Pure Debian, and it's working as well. And it's also working in Arch Linux, and it's working in Antex Linux. So there's something wrong. I don't know why it's not working, but there is a workaround. There is a solution and it's this. What I'm going to do is go to the software center and I'm going to go into the search field here and I'm going to type in rhythm box. Here it is here. And you can see all the, there's all these different ones, but the one with the green check mark, that's the one that's installed right now. So I'm going to click it on and I'm going to remove it. What I'm doing is I'm uninstalling it. Now I tried, oh, I'm going to put my password in. Now I tried uninstalling it and reinstalling it, and that didn't fix it. 
But what I'm going to show you now will fix it. So I'm just removing it and it's gone. So now I'm going to go back and you can see the green check mark is gone now because it's no longer installed. And I'm going to go over here to the far right and I'm going to install this one from FlatHub. So I'm going to click it on. And you can see it's Flatpak from FlatHub. I'm going to install this one. I'm going to click on continue and it's installing. Just so you know that when you're in the uh, software center here and you're installing apps from FlatHub, it takes a little bit longer. So I'm going to pause the video and come back. And actually, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> I didn't have to pause the video. So I'm going to go back now. So now we see that this one has the green check mark and it's kind of dark and kind of small. I don't know if you can see it up in the corner, but it has the green check mark there. So this is the one that's installed now. Now I'm going to leave the software center open because I want to show you something else as well. So let's just minimize it. And let's open up our menu. Let's go to Rhythm Box and click it on. And there it is. It's working and it's fixed. How about that? Now another thing I want to show you is Linux Mint comes with uh, Firefox installed. Now let's go to the uh, software center. And I'm going to go to the ad blocker, uBlock Origin. uBlock, I'm going to type it in. And they have two. They have one for Chromium and one for Firefox. So I'm going to click on the one for Firefox. And I'm going to install it. I'm going to put my password in. And it's installing it. And it's installed. Now I'm just going to go back. And there we are. I'm going to leave it open again because we're going to go back to the software center. Let's just minimize it. And let's open up Firefox. And let's go to settings. Let's go to extensions. Oh, let's go to extensions again. And the ad blocker is not there. What about that? And the same problem will happen in Pure Debian as well. Now, it won't happen in Antex Linux. You won't have the same problem. And I'm going to tell you why. But I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I'm going to close Firefox. I'm going to go back to the Software Center. I'm going to type in Firefox. This green check mark shows this is the Firefox that's installed. Now, Linux Mint is pulling its apps from the Debian repos, and so does Antex Linux. The app for uBlock Origin that we downloaded from the Debian repo is meant and designed to only work with Firefox ESR extended version. Now there is a version of uBlock Origin that works with this Firefox, which is, let's just click it on. So this is Firefox 11801. So there is a uBlock Origin app that functions with this particular Firefox, and it's available in Arch Linux, but this is not Arch Linux. So like I said, this Linux Mint and also Antex Linux, they're pulling their apps from the Debian repo. And they don't have the uBlock origin that's made to work with this particular Firefox. They only have the uBlock origin app that works with Firefox ESR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put my password in. And it's removing it. Now I'm going to go back. And I'm going to click on. Firefox ESR and I'm going to install that. So this is Firefox ESR which stands for Extended Support Release. Okay, so it's Firefox 115.3 Extended Support Release. You don't have to worry about security because this still gets security updates. So I'm going to install it and it's installing it. Now you don't have to worry about this with Antex Linux because Antex Linux installs 
this particular Firefox. So because they installed this particular Firefox, when you go to the Debian repo and download Firefox uBlock Origin, it automatically works. And also, if you download LibreWolf, which is a hardened fork of Firefox, LibreWolf is built upon this particular Firefox. So when you download LibreWolf, it comes automatically with uBlock Origin installed. And if you download LibreWolf in Antex Linux or even in Linux Mint, here, if you download it, it's going to work right off the bat and it's going to have the correct uBlock Origin in it. So let's close this and let's just take unpin that. Let's go back. Let's go to Internet. Now we have, see, we have Firefox ESR installed. Let's uh, add to the panel and let's click it on. Oh, that opened up fast. And as you can see, uBlock Origin is installed. It's right here. Okay, got it. It's right here. We don't even have to go into settings and turn it on. It's right here. It's working and it's installed. Okay, if we go to YouTube, we can see that it's installed. So that's how you get uBlock Origin working. Now, let's close that. And did I install LibreWolf? I guess I didn't, eh? Oh, I did. I already installed LibreWolf. LibreWolf doesn't come installed here by default, but I installed it. So let's click it on. And as you can see, uBlock Origin came already installed with it. It's right here, uBlock Origin. LibreWolf, it's in the repos. Actually, I can just show you right now. Let's go back. So if you didn't watch that video, it's right here, LibreWolf. And you can see it's got the check mark there. The green check mark in the corner, so I already have it installed. Now, another thing I want to show you is let's go into a terminal and let's open it up. So, if you notice, when you switch into root, su, and I put my root password in, it doesn't give any feedback. There's no asterisks or anything. Hit enter, and now I'm in root. Now, I'm going to close the terminal. And I'm going to go back in and make it full screen. And now let's try and do an update. So I'm going to do sudo as mesh. I'm not going to go into root. I'm going to use sudo to do an update as mesh. sudo apt update. Now there shouldn't be any updates because I updated it off camera before I started the video. Let's hit enter. Now it's asking for mesh's password. See, it's showing the asterisk, and I don't like it. So I'm going to show you how to turn the asterisk off. So we don't need to do an update. So I'm going to close the terminal. I'm going to open the terminal. I'm going to make that full screen. And I'm going to CD into Etsy. I'm going to LS it. I'm going to CD into sudoer. I'm going to CD into sudoers.d. I'm going to ls it, and you see this file right here, 0pw feedback, I'm going to vim into it, and you got to do it with sudo, or as root, so I'm going to do sudo vim 0pwf feedback, I'm going to go into it, I'm going to put my mentions sudo password in, and here we are. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to deactivate this line at top. So I'm going to put the number sign in front of it, or the hashtag. Okay, so I just deactivated that line. Now I'm going to save the file and get out of there. Now I'm going to close the terminal, and I'm going to open up my terminal. And let's see, do another update with sudo. So we're going to do sudo apt update. I'm going to hit enter. It's asking for Mencha's sudo password. I'm going to type my sudo password in. And look at those asterisks are gone. I'm going to hit enter. And it's doing an update. 
and it should come back saying there's nothing to do. And as it says right here, all packages are up to date. So that was just a few more things for Linux Mint Debian 6. So in this video, it took a second look at Linux Mint Debian 6, LMDE6 Fay. And I showed you a workaround on how to get Rhythmbox working. I also showed you how to get the ad blocker, uBlock Origin, working with Firefox. And I showed you how to get rid of the asterisk when typing your sudo password in the terminal. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am... The Lennox Mench.